The tension over the Dakota Access Pipeline boiled over this week when riot police clashed with protesters. In response, protests are being held today in cities around the world. TV6's Harry Lee reports from the Marquette rally against the pipeline. After a six-hour standoff Thursday, 141 Dakota Access Pipeline protesters were arrested. The UP community wanted to show their solidarity with the protesters. I was getting infuriated and heartbroken and frustrated that I'm here and I can't really do anything about it. Um, so I wanted to do something. Someone related to the camp put out a global call to action for solidarity rallies across the world today. About 40 people stood at the corner of West Washington and North Third Streets this afternoon. Some played Native American drum songs, while others held signs protesting the pipeline and supporting the protesters in Cannonball, North Dakota. The protesters are showing their democratic rights to be out there, to be standing up protecting the land that should by right be theirs. Protesters say the pipeline violates land treaties between the U.S. federal government and the Standing Rock Sioux tribe. But the issue goes beyond Native Americans. It shows how much we care, how much we are going to stand up and protect our earth, protect our land, protect our water for all of us. Environmentalism was also a theme at the rally. They emphasized the risk that the pipeline could cause pollution. Both the indigenous people here and the people who have come in the last couple of centuries, without this land, we are nothing. The reception in downtown Marquette was mostly positive. Many people waved at the protesters, and as cars drove by, some gave friendly honks. Harry Lee, TV6 News, Marquette.